Hello and welcome back to Stalker uh, Escape from Pripyat. I, I, one day I'm gonna nail that intro. Um, how are you doing? It's it's going well. Um, so I did check to see um, what it would take to create the pseudo giant elixir, and I do actually have everything I need except for um, I'm missing a morphine. So here's the where is it now? The, 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 the pseudo elixir i need a morphine injector to make this um happen uh, i did actually look into making one you can I, I, like i can make one um but i need more ibuprofen painkillers and painkillers it's actually quite an expensive um ask but the pseudo giant elixir is worth it maybe actually is it worth it it's three minutes of basically invincibility so it could be worth it. It is also greatly toxic. So, you know, it could kill us. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, I feel like, you know, there's no point in, in uh, you know, do like playing a game like this and, and trying to make incremental progress if you can't at least uh, occasionally try something weird like, you know, drink, uh, uh, drink a potion made from the guts of a freaking giant mutant and become the hulk for a moment very fitting actually that it would radiate the heck out of you um but anyway what are we doing today well we're gonna take a break from the story um that lab really took it out of me i enjoyed it a lot and in fact in many ways it was the culmination of a lot of um you know low stakes uh episodes of me just kind of wandering around and sandboxing and delivering stuff and you know it's uh, not every episode is going to be uh you know groundbreaking it's not going to be all stuff like that and in fact more often than not it is not like let's go to a lab and shut down a uh uh the miracle you know it's that is some that's some cool stuff and uh i i i definitely am playing this game for moments like that but i also know that i i you can't do that every time you can't you, it's not gonna be a lot of that um it's kind of one of the reasons i love this game is that like oh god what have we got over here hold on oh we got we got zombies Getting really nice accuracy with this gun. Um, I'm picking up a stash. We're just we're just gonna be bumming around. I, one of the reasons I love this game, just to finish my thought, is because it is a lot of downtime. Like there there is a lot of grinding, and not just like you know enemies, but also uh, you know we we gotta do some maintenance. We've gotta sit down and and do stuff. Like I know I complained about it quite a bit actually. Um, I understand that, but um, you gotta you gotta understand. I I want to do those things. I just think that it takes too much actual time, you know. Um, I am a great believer in in quality of life, and um, I think that with a little bit of quality of life features, this game would just be like uh, just almost perfect. He says as he hears the freaking helicopter shooting. Like for real, um, I, I I love this game so much. I I'm, I'm enjoying this world, and um, you know all of the different facets of it are really compelling to me. I love all of the different factions. I love, uh, you know, the conflict in it, and I, I enjoy the survival. I actually enjoy the survival aspects of this game. Is not something I say ever. I truly detest survival mechanics in almost every game. I know I played um, Vintage Story for a long time, but honestly, Vintage Story was also a very standout game um, in that it, it made me appreciate survival mechanics. I find survival mechanics to be such a obstruction of actual meaningful gameplay. I find that it is usually the enemy um, when it comes to enjoying the game. It's not something that I enjoy. It gets in the way of the part I want to play. 
and in to some extent that is true in this game but you know like um talking about you know I, i've talked about this in the past but i think that games that make survival aspects work are the ones that offer the player tools to make it compelling and not just make the survival aspect a wall that they have to overcome and a good example of that is actually caves of cud where um you know like you have to eat and you have to drink but also water is you know your currency also food um gives you mutations food and water become a tool they are they're not just a, an, an obstruction they're also a means of uh you know for the player to to progress and i think when progression and survival mechanics are kind of shaking hands when they actually um, have some meaningful dialogue with each other uh then it's a little bit more oops it's a little bit more interesting than just like oh yeah i mean you got to get to this place but also you got to you know make sure you have x amount of food and x amount of water so that your dude does not starve um because then you're not going to even see the thing that'll kill you in one shot you're just going to die because you didn't press the button enough you know what here's here's um my analogy for a lot of survival mechanics in games it's the button from lost yes i am actually making this reference i i know i know this is a dated as hell reference but it really is the button from lost is it's if you don't push this button if you don't put in this like li line of numbers and push the button every time you know the screen blinks and every time the alarm goes off then you're just gonna die and it's not gonna be a meaningful death it's not gonna be an interesting death although i mean that's you know not true in the case of lost but you know never mind um but it's not gonna be interesting it's just gonna be you're just gonna be dead you know and you're not going to be able to see anything that the game actually has to offer you notice i've been trying to fast travel for like the last five or ten minutes that's and well okay i haven't even been stream recording for 10 minutes but anyway um i guess we're gonna walk to uh garbage i'm i'm uh gonna, we're gonna go to agriprom why not why not go to agriprom um i have i have actual things to update you on uh in, in terms of like things that i've upgraded uh things that i have decisions i have made um i had to make a decision because i simply did not have any ammunition i did not have enough ammunition i'm a little bit concerned about this location because there tends to be bandits here no bandits this time that's kind of nice i'm cool with that um yeah, it's the button from Lost, and that's how I feel about a lot of survival mechanics. I don't, I don't find them to be terribly compelling, um, but yeah, I, I like them in Stalker because you know there, there are, they're they're kind of a puzzle. You know, like survival in Stalker is a puzzle. There's three, you know, three things you have to figure out. You have to figure out how to get your water, how to get your food, and how to get your bullets. And there's many ways to go about those. Although, I mean there's good ways and bad ways that is to say there's more efficient ways and figuring out those more efficient ways is is interesting to me and is is actually compelling um and doesn't just require me to like chop down x amount of trees or like go fishing for x amount of time although you know there's something to be said about fishing mechanics but you know what i mean like i i just yeah i don't i don't find it very interesting Ooh, hello like i guess here's why Oh god. The reason I find it interesting is like when I actually see mutants in the waste, I get kind of excited because you know it, it could mean a free meal. It could mean that I don't have to worry about food for a little longer. And uh I mean there's other reasons to like you know, kill mutants, but I saw another flesh, but I think it just got pulled into a anomaly. So I'm good. And there we go. There's a free meal and also a flesh hide. I could start holding on to um, mutant food so that I could... Uh, basically what I'm doing with the Chimera stuff. If you don't know what I'm doing with the Chimera stuff, basically if and when I ever kill a Chimera, rather than just selling the parts, I just take missions where people ask me 
for parts. And I think I still have a couple of Chimera parts on me. I have a horn. No, sorry, I have a, a claw and a horn. And I bet you, I bet you this lad will... Um, no, he's actually wanting us to kill a mutant in Rostock, which we'll do. Any other work you want done? Chimera Claw, there you go. Job is done. Wow, that was actually not very good pay for that. Give me a second. I'm a little bit concerned about what is happening right now. There's always a freaking bandit group over here. So let me get, uh, that brings me conveniently to the next part. I have gone ahead and, uh, oh, hold, give me a second. Um, uh, my, my mouse was not properly. Yeah, it's still not properly. Um, give me a second. I have to fix. My mouse is not locked into the screen right now. There you go. I fixed. No, I didn't fix it. Now it's actually worse than ever. What is going on, game? Now I can't, now the, the oh my god. Give me a second. Okay, I fixed the problem. It's all good now. I, uh, I have, um, switched to, for the time being, the SKS Molot. Which is, should serve my purpose as well, for the time being. Seems to do a good job. Um, it uses a ton of, uh, it uses that ammo that we got a, a ton of. And I need, I need to consider alternatives for now. Oh god, look at them all. Look at them all. God damn. This is fine. We'll get a bunch of stuff from this. Sure hope whoever's walking next to me is a friend. I think they are. All right. Oh, oh, still more. I've killed so many of them. Oh. Is it is it jammed? What's what's happening? Why why can't I reload? Why can't I reload? Okay. I I don't understand. That's fine. All right, let's let's say for a m minute we're we're okay behind this box. This flimsy ass box is our only protection. This this place is always getting hit by bandits. This is an awful place to be because I can't see them, but they can see me for sure. Look at all them bodies. Look at all. Oh, one more. Oh, God damn it. Your reputation worsened. Why? I wonder if I have that pa bandit patch on. No, I'm part of Free Stalkers. Did I accidentally kill a Free Stalker? Oh, I did. Damn it. Damn it. Well, whatever. It's canon. All right. Well, I mean, this is going to be a nice chunk of stuff. Um, let me see. Is it, uh, I, I really don't want to be picking up everything here. But I'm going to do a pause here as I uh, loot through all of this stuff because, again, you're, you're not going to want to watch that. So I'll see you real soon. Okay. There was one more bandit tried to sneak up on me, but I, I got him, so we're good. Oh, God, these anomalies. Um, all right. So, yeah, I switched to uh, the SKS Molot. I had some magazines, and like I say, it uses this 762.39, which we have tons of. We just have an absurd amount of this stuff. So, like I say, I mean, it's it's a good idea to... Um, I think this is one of the reasons I, I pick up as many guns as I do, is it's good to di diversify. And, uh, you know, that way, if you come across uh, just a ton of ammo for some reason, like, you know, from a couple of ammo boxes, then... 
I'm hearing footsteps and it's making me nervous. Then, uh, you know, you're good. You can, uh, you can just switch your weapon. And I was able to repair it pretty easily enough. I'm getting very, like, efficient with repairing, um, weapons because I, uh, you know, I, I've repaired enough stuff. I've done enough inventory management. I actually got an achievement that makes, um, you know, repairing stuff more efficient. So I, I am getting to like this absurd level of uh, efficiency where I can basically repair a gun to full condition on like one, you know, one one uh, repair kit. Not even repair kit, but like the the, the grease. Um, so that's it's going well. I mean, there's a there's a, a benefit to doing all of this stuff. Oh my god, I forgot that this was a second stash that I used often. Um, wow. This is a this is a lot of stuff. Uh, we don't really need any of it. I don't actually need any of it right now. I should probably sell a bunch of this stuff. One thing I'm not a huge fan of with this SKS is it does not, in fact, use. It doesn't have a suppressor, and in fact, I can't put a suppressor on it. Hey, we've got uh, there's some more leg splints here. I could absolutely use those leg splints, and in fact, these are pretty good too. We are kind of getting up there for weight. So I might just drop off some of the stuff that I can't really use. And, um, yeah, I'll just drop off all this stuff. I'll disassemble these things. I did make uh, some more, like, medic stuff, um, despite the fact that it takes forever. And uh, I did make some bullets, although it's not... Uh, I don't really have enough to make enough bullets. You know, making ammunition in this game, I really did um, kind of overestimate it a little bit because I was I was kind of hoping that it would let us fill the gap of like how much ammunition we need uh, or at least cover our needs. And you can't really cover your needs. It, it has to, um, it, it tops you up, but it doesn't, it doesn't, um, you know, suit your needs at all. Um, too bad you don't want a flesh hide. So we're gonna go ahead and sell those flesh hides. Sell this. This guy does not buy a lot of things, but he does buy mutant stuff, so we can sell some mutant stuff. We'll sell the burr hands. I don't think that the burr hands, um, do anything. I don't think they, like, I, there's no burr concoction as far as I could tell. I looked, I looked through all of our recipes and there is nothing, there is no, like, oh yeah, you can make a a burr mind control or psychic juice um doesn't seem like that's a you know that's a thing you can do so um you might as well sell the stuff i, I still have the burr brain um so i might deal with that i did upgrade our uniform our uniform's getting pretty good and now it has three belt slots so i went ahead and slapped on a kevlar armor insert um, and we're using this pseudo giant hide, which offers three kilograms of extra storage space. So that's nice. Um, let me see if I can cook some of the food I got. I can. Yep. We can go ahead and cook that. Our food needs are very good right now. Like we're hundred percent. We're good on, uh, food, but you know, I, I, I don't like to, uh, I know how, if you don't stay on stuff in this game, um, it will like very quickly get out of hand. Um, like if you, if you, like uh, case in point, when we went to lab 18, I was like, oh, I, I'm way over prepared for this. And I ended up blowing through all of my ammunition, all of my health kits, everything. And then the game was like, also, here's a pseudo giant. You're welcome. No, no, you didn't ask, but here you go. Um, Okay, how is this? Okay, we've got a magazine in there. Just check check all of our guns. Make sure they all have ammo in them. It looks like they do. So we're good. Um, we've got some more slugs and um, stuff for a shotgun. This is good. So why don't we move on? I, I did not intend to really come here for many purposes. It looks like we've got another an unknown men enemy. And it's moving quite quickly. So I, I do want to check that out. Eat some food while we're running on our over there. Might be like a monolith or something. Probably is not a monolith. Oh, 
a little bit curious about this. There, this is probably part of the culling, the, 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 the mission I took from that, uh, the mutant hunter. I am a little bit concerned. We are near daytime or um, noon. And probably there's going to be an emission soon. What is that wind sound? Never heard that one before. Oh, th those are the anomalies. Ah, God damn it. I hate that. Uh, whatever it is just died Sounds like there's plenty of reason to come here though What is that Well Whatever it is it is now goo God damn it Well uh, missions complete I guess Let's, um, let's go to Agriprom. <clears throat> oh, hello. Ecologist. I don't remember. Oh. I don't think I've ever been here. Do you have anything, anything you want me to do? Do you have anything to trade? No? Okay. I did not miss that sound. Free bird! Uh, you want lurker meat. Anything else? No? Okay. Alright, we're good. I don't, I don't remember come being here ever. But uh, anyway, we can we can leave. Turn our light on. This place almost feels kind of inviting compared to where I've, uh, compared to where I've been. You know, like some of the 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 places in Yantar. Yantar in general is just like a kind of a nightmare. Whoa! Man. Everything's getting gibbed today, you know? I'm hardly... Okay! That is a chimera. Jesus. Oh! no way holy crap I did it oh my god freaking rock saved my ass good god I'm going to save. Yep. Chimera. Chimera, hide. We got some more horns. The horns are the most valuable stuff. And a claw. Amazing. Oh, I did not expect to win that fight. I was like, oh, this is going to end in disaster for sure. Yo, took a Chimera single-handedly. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Unfortunately, my suit took some damage. And the suit is, like, one of the most annoying things to have to repair. But, honestly, all things considered, <laughs> I'm getting off really, really easy, easy right now. Good God. Man, it's been a couple of really, um, pretty, pretty tense episodes. 
Okay, well let's cook up that chimera meat. And um, we're gonna, we're going north. There's something to do over here. Recover the detector prototype, but we're at, we are heading north. Hopefully there's nothing, hopefully that's like the scariest thing I see today. That looks like a artifact. Is that actually an artifact? There's two artifacts. No way, bud. Where's the other one? Actually got some artifacts. I can't believe it. I can't believe the stuff that's happening right now. Um, do these emit horrible... Okay, this one emits horrible radiation. This one doesn't. So this one is 12 MSV. That means we can use our new container. And in fact, our new container will contain it. Um, my God, very good things happening right now. Uh, we got the sponge sample. When did I get the sponge sample? I didn't just pick that up, did I? No. We got a stone flower. As I understand it, the stone flowers are, are very valuable. When did I get a sponge sample? Huh. Well, anyway, I, I honestly kind of want to keep uh, keep the... Oh. Well, we got a couple of zams over there. Nothing too... Well, I say, I say that. It might be something stronger. No, they just look like zombies. Yeah, we're good. We're close to our stash. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, man. Um, all right, let's grab whatever we can from these things from these from these Zambos I'm just gonna call them whatever I want. All right, it's my stalker series. Okay, you start a stalker series You can call them whatever you want They're Zim Zams. They're Zambos. Okay Don't question me All right, here's our stash Ah, yay. Wait, expert tools. No. I mean, okay, cool. Yay. But like also, um, no. The reason no is because I need advanced tools before I can give the expert tools to our friend. Um, bummer. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, this this is good. It's still something I, a box checked, you know. I am a little bit curious about this field equipment case. Lock difficulty 60%. This uh, predator stalker suit seems interesting. It's not much better than what we're currently using, but I'm pretty sure I did upgrade my current outfit with ballistic improvement. So I'm not sure, it's probably not worth saving. Let's just go ahead and disassemble it. I did notice in one of my old videos, I looked at, um, I looked at a suit of armor uh, on the ground and I was like, ah, that thing's worthless. And it was like a sizably better than what I was currently using at the time, which was the, still the, the clear sky uniform, which was kind of worthless. Um, but I just didn't, I, you know, I didn't understand. Um, and, you know, also I wasn't really keeping things, even if they were like their condition was zero because I didn't see the value in like, you know, well, there's, that's like a whole project. That's going to take me. That's going to take me forever to, to upgrade, you know? <laughs> Thank you for having the, the dignity and grace to fall down that hill so I don't have to come looking for you. Also, I have my light on. I should really turn that off. Hey, a free IFAC. If Thank you for that. Nice. Game's being very kind to me right now. 
Well, I mean, it did hit me with a chimera. There is that, but you know, it's fine. Also, I did, I did just realize that if you hover your, your crosshair over a zombie, it'll tell you if they're still alive by uh, highlighting red. Lots of Zambos over here. Zombie hand. Yeah, I mean, we did we did get hit by a chimera. Random chimera, by the way. Not not like a you know, not a scripted one or anything like that. And I, I know like you know the stalker games uh, they're they're they don't they're not really scripted you know they're more like a rain world in the sense that they're they're, they're almost closer to an immersive sim um I know they're not people are gonna call me up on that you know oh they're not an immersive sim you know I'm not really calling them an immersive sim I'm saying they they share some um common ground with immersive sims uh, and even immersive sims are more scripted in the sense that like uh, an area has like like a um, table of monsters, you know, like it's got a, a a monster table rather than like a, okay, we're gonna put this here and the, the player's gonna see this and then we're gonna make sure that they, you know, like you know, you can encounter pretty much anything anywhere. Why are we? I guess I must be getting pretty encumbered. I am pretty encumbered. Um, you could you can really encounter anything anywhere um, For better or for worse and it, yeah, that means you could encounter something like truly dire in the early stages of, of the game It's less likely and I do think um, I, I do wonder I question this is if uh, the, the monster tables in each area Gets a little bit more dire um, the longer you play like it might be that after you've put a few dozen hours into the game if they're not like okay well you know the, the player is ready we could uh, just go ahead and, and put chimera as a possible encounter in in like you know the swamp now, i know i took a mission that had me looking for a swamp so obviously i don't count that particular um chimera but i also just encountered a chimera in agriprom now is it was the chimera always a possible encounter in agriprom maybe i'm willing to believe it maybe it's a very low chance but i also think that it's it feels a little bit you know unlikely okay so we've accomplished our mission here i am gonna have to take a moment and uh maybe disassemble well, we, we can drop some of these guns or disassemble them at the very least because they're taking up some extra space. We have to shed 10 pounds, 10 kilograms. Uh, I always find myself in this situation. I, I thought I was able to carry 160 kilograms. I don't know what happened there. But it was it was nice, you know? There was a moment when I was able to do that. It might have been because I had, like, eaten some chimera meat or something. Chimera meat. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why. It's because when I eat chimera meat, it lets me carry 15 extra kilograms. Um, I don't really want to go get that stash. I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel back to the train hangar. All right. I do wonder why so many people want chimera meat. Oh God, are there more bandits here? Even this, this guy perfectly represents my feeling. Cool, 10,000. Very good. Any other work you want done? You want Chimera Claw? I got you covered. No, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, I got you covered, bud. Here you go. 2,500. You want some Psy Dog Fur Mutated uh, Boar Pelt, Bloodsucker Jaw? Don't want it. No, no, none of that. Um, I could definitely cook some of this stuff up, but I'm just going to give him the dog liver and heart. And I'm gonna cook up that dog meat. I'll just offer him these magazines. I could definitely, you know, figure them out, but I, I don't care right now. I know there's a bunch of stuff going on right now. Um, wait, do you have a morphine? You do not. Okay. 
Uh, I'll buy your bandages. Do I need more Ifex? No. Okay. All right. Now we'll go ahead and kill some bandits. You know. Tempted to eat this chimera meat because I, I have more stuff to do before I can like dump stuff off. There's this here, kill the stalker over there. Let's just go do that. How long does this chimera last for? Quite a long time. Could eat the chimera meat. Let's just eat the chimera meat and then I don't have to deal with encumbrance issues for a while. Okay, so we're we can now carry 160. So we're good. We're gonna be we're gonna be good for a long time. Can't believe I found like three artifacts when I hadn't found like any in you know 20 hours of gameplay. Looks like I'm not gonna have to kill this stalker. I believe that is the stalker. Certainly they are in the exact direction i'm gonna see how this goes for them you know let them cook <laughs> as they say okay well that's that Pretty sure that is that. Yeah, mission updated. We killed the stalker. Kill the wabbit. Kill the stalker. Got some boar meat. Yo, good find, good find. All right, let's um, grab some stuff here. Can never, you know, Leave a potential situation in which I would be over encumbered pass me up. You know, I always I always got to be hitting that over encumbrance I want to see big numbers bigger numbers, you know Oh if thank you Okay, um, I think we're good I think I'm just gonna fast travel back to well actually if I fast travel back I think it puts like a um, automatic tax on your hunger needs so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save in case I get in, uh, hit by an emission between here and uh, this warehouse and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk back I might just do a pause here let's get rid of this barrel it's not doing me any good can drop. Uh, I, I always like to keep the um, any any armor stuff is good to keep even at like very low encumbrance as I have said We do have this mp5 um, Oh, it's got a suppressor Ah uh. That's some wear and tear on my uniform that didn't need to happen. More stuff for the mutant man, though. I wasn't really, like, mentally prepared for that, hence why I hesitated so hard there. Yeah, okay, now our, our uniform's holding up. We've got this here echo detector. Um... So we've got the we got a suppressor for this mp5 it does make it it is kind of tempting i get i, I get a lot of this nine millimeter um this 919 whatever caliber rounds uh i get a ton of it and so it's tempting to take a uh a machine gun it's not i don't i think it's a submachine gun but you know what i mean um any kind of machine gun that uses that, any kind of nice weapon that uses a nine millimeter, but then it were kind of conflicting with our pistol in terms of like ammo. Um, so first of all, um, buy my mutant crap, 
Do we? Is this a? No, oh, that's a bloodsucker skin. We could sell that as well. I don't think I'm gonna use a bloodsucker skin. We have better things. Uh, and I think I'll sell the Psy sucker skin as well because I don't think we really need it. We have better things for that. It does offer a little bit of ballistic resistance, but um, how much does the? Where's oh oh the thing we're, that we're currently wearing? Yeah, this thing is just straight up better in every way. So let's sell the Psy sucker skin and the boar fang, and we're good. That's another five grand in the bank. We could sell this stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep it for the time being. I think I already have an MP5A, so I might just like grab the suppressor. I think it has a suppressor. Maybe it doesn't. It kind of looks like it does. Ah, I'm good. I think I, I'm pretty comfortable with what we've got right now. If I found like a better shotgun, you know, I'd be... Oh, yeah, it did have a 9mm barrel silencer. There you go. Um, oh, I see. It had a... Uh, huh, that's like the barrel. Weird. It's not very well maintained. Um, we need some more lockpicks. Lockpicks are, like, really expensive. I kind of wish I could make them. They're they're really expensive. They're really expensive to make. You want Psydog fur... Mutated crow beak, cat claw, boar pelt. I could have taken that mission. That's dumb. Oh well. Um, all right, so we're good here. I'm pretty sure we're done. We're done in the garbage. What is this? Kill the stalker. I agreed to kill a stalker in, and they're in darkscape right now. Weird. Uh, let's head to the bar so we can, um, you know check our next box this is a uh, you know this is the episode we're, we're you know after after delving into a lab um i i uh am going to take a short vacay in the form of like killing stalkers and mutants and chimeras apparently but uh yeah i just like i just kind of want to go around and um accrue a, a little bit of money um some extra ammunition kill some bandits maybe kill some mercenaries um Ideally, I'd like to kill some monolith because they're gonna they have some really nice stuff uh, But uh, you know, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll check each box as it comes and then um, once I feel like I am very um, Flush with supplies like maybe we'll get a uh, we'll upgrade our armor um, I might consider Getting a, a, a mech suit or whatever they are an exoskeleton once we have, you know, a bunch of stuff, then I will um, consider. I don't like that we're going to be killing a stalker in the bar. This could make enemies of a lot of people. I seem to recall I can't, like, go through here for some reason. Oh, no, we can. Maybe. Friend. Oh, that guy just died. Free dog meat. I'll never bypass free dog meat. Grab some stuff. A couple extra bucks here and there. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bandit, or not a bandit, actually, a, a stalker I have to kill in the, in the zone. Oh, a snork, huh? Snorks are pretty good money. Not great, but, you know, better than nothing. That looks like a side dog. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, I have to be going west. Hmm... I might have a quick look at some of the stores in the bar because um, the bar is a good place for variety. It's kind of like um, Sidrovic in terms of variety. And here it is. I'm lost. Who who to thunk it? You know, I always seem to get lost in this place. 
it's really it's not even that i'm lost it's that i don't know how to get to where i need to go all right here we go oh man am i gonna have to kill someone in a bar in the actual bar that would be kind of wild It is kind of feeling like that. Oh, is it this guy? He is duty. Junior Sergeant. Is that the guy we need to kill? Better get it right. In the army warehouses west of the road. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. We're not killing him. I'm pretty sure we're handing in the quest. <laughs> No? Or maybe it's... Maybe I took the quest from this guy? Yeah, okay. Never mind. I'm I'm a dang fool, isn't it? Uh, any work you want done? A Rostock south of the road of the army warehouses? Sure. Um, any work you want done? Boar pelt? Damn. Everyone wants boar pelts after I got rid of them all. Alright, now let's see. We could make some plans for, like, the next bit of gear that I need like for instance RG6 is this like a yeah this like launches grenades that could be cool um then we got something like the PKM PKM um tempting I think I have a VSS at home we've got VSS at home and it's actually just a oh uh, you know sniper or whatever then we got the v woodland exosuit like we could buy an ex a woodland exosuit this one um sprinting is possible headgear not included nomad stalker suit uh tactical stalker suit no i didn't mean to do that i did not mean to do that okay we're not we're not buying that so I am kind of tempted. What is this? Sunrise exoskeleton. I actually, I do have stuff for camouflaging sun, sunrise suits, but this one doesn't even have as good ballistic resistance as what we're currently wearing. At least this woodland one has really terrific ballistic resistance. It doesn't have very good anything else, but it's very good. This thing would like absolutely cover my butt in a firefight. So that is tempting. And then we have other radiation protection masks. Um, I don't think any of those. I, I actually really like our helmet. I think it's very good. G great ballistic resistance, great radiation resistance. I don't really need anything. And even even the psychic resistance is actually quite good. Given it some given it a look. So yeah, I kind of like the Woodland exosuit. Now, do I want to get it now? I don't think so, even though we do have the money. Because we'd have to buy, I think we have to buy three things. We've got to buy a power supply and then um, military battery unit. So it's a lot of, it's a huge drain on our resources. Because we got to buy this for a hundred grand. And then we've got to buy um, this power supply, which is 20 grand. And then we've got to buy at least one of these military ba uh, batteries. So that's another like close to 10 grand. So I don't think I, now is a good time to be buying that. But the good news is that we know we're close. We know we're kind of close. Um, we've got, we've actually got the money to do it right now. I just don't want to. Like I don't want, it, it's just a massive drain right now. Um, so instead we're going to continue doing as we're doing. We're going to do a little bit more sandboxing. I'm going to sell this, uh, actually I guess I could use this handgun repair kit. Our pistol took a bit of damage. Um, let's sell a couple of things here and there. I'll uh, cook up these things. Chimera. We don't want to. We, we want to keep the chimera horns for mission uh, for missions. Yeah. Sell that. I wish I could sell this stuff. I guess I maybe someone else here in the bar would uh, would buy my uh, components. All uh, the the pistol repair kit. Listen, I know this is probably a waste. I don't really care um, because honestly, it just doesn't matter to me. I don't think I'm gonna get another pistol. 
If I do, I won't get one for a long time, and then I'll probably have another pistol repair kit. They're kind of commonplace. So let me have a quick look. Um, the guy who would lend me their vice would probably buy my extra components. I don't like selling components, generally speaking, but um, now is, you know, I, I, I kind of can't afford to carry them all. Let me guess, did I go the wrong way? I think I did, it's fine. I think we can still go this way. Maybe not. And this is why I don't like the bar. Right here is the reason. No, привет. Okay, here we go. All right, bud. Probably want to buy some stuff. First of all, do you have any work you want done? Garbage train depot. Eliminate dangerous mutants. Sure. Anything else you want done? Artifact. Radioactive shed. Nah. Any other work? You want basic tools. Never. I'm sorry, you're on your own on that in that regard. Um, okay, will you buy my components? Yes, you will. Let me just sell, um, this is, I, I know this is a little bit inventory managey, but, um, you know, I, I do have to do this from time to time. We'll sell that barrel. I could buy some lock picks. Might be worth doing that. Field equipment case. I'm just a little bit curious about this field equipment case. It's a pretty expensive um, open. It would probably, I would probably have to buy two lockpick bundles. So it would cost me 16,000 to open up this case. I don't know if it's actually part of one of my quests. So that's something I have to keep an eye on. Um, maybe I should have sold some of these artifacts. I kind of want to keep the artifacts for now. Reason being is I, um, is that, oh, that's destroy the mutants over there. I don't want to do that right now, actually. I want to go to Yantar. Did I have, yeah, Rick, I, I, I completed a quest for Yantar. Uh, and I'm going to actually end the episode in Yantar because, um, I, the next thing I want to do is I, I have to go not back to the lab. Fortunately, I don't want to go back to, back to the lab, but the, uh, above ground, above the lab um, facility, I have to recover a couple of things. And there's a, a good stash there and a quest to complete. Um, a couple of things, I, I, you know, a couple boxes there I got to check. And hopefully one of them will have advanced tools and then we can um, hand in everything to our friend at the farm. The reason I care about that as much as I do is because as soon as I hand those in, he's going to have, I hope, more recipes for us. Um, that will include things like um, maybe armor maintenance. I would really, really like to be able to make armor components because I think I'm sitting on a lot of stuff that could be turned or converted into better stuff um, in order to maintain armor, uh, as well as I'd like to be able to get into artifact transmutation, and I don't think I can do any of that until uh, I have a few extra recipes. That is my theory, or at least going theory. Um, job is done. You got 7,000. 7, nice. Uh, any work you want done? You want lurker tails. Chimera heart. Well, I don't have a chimera heart, unfortunately. Uh, chimera horn I do have. Job is done. Received the stash coordinates. Very good. 10,000. Um, lurker tail, chimera heart. We're in a bit of a problem right now. One of our teams went out to perform... Some anomalous scans, but hasn't returned yet. We've got, I tried to contact them. Yeah, I, I don't mind these missions. These are decent missions. Any other work? Um, Chimera Heart, Burr, Hand. Ah, I had those. I could have handed those in. Meat Chunk Artifact, Zombie Hands. No, okay. So what else do you have? What are these? Electra Recipe. Small size chip, its contents consist of vital properties and interactions of low tier Electra artifacts with the different environmental changing risks are found in the zone. Uh, interesting. Is this what I think it is? 
I think I need these in order to transmutate artifacts. I think I'd like to buy like all of these. Let's buy all of those. And what do we have? Titanium grid and aluminum frames. I already have, I think, the best possible... Yeah, I, I got that improved titanium grid very, very early on. And it has served me very well. But anyway, let's buy all those. Do you have a morphine um, pen? Morphine injector. Yes. So we can make the chimera juice. We can make the juice. Uh, I might buy these Hercules as well. They're not actually very good on their own, but um, you can turn them into some interesting stuff. And I'd like to make... Uh, let's, do we have anything else we can buy here? Some good stuff. I appreciate all of this stuff. I'll buy another leg splint. I can almost always use some more leg, uh, um, leg splints. Do we... What, what kind of... What, PK red dot. And what is this? Uh, I don't think that that is... I think what we've got currently is actually better than any of that. But we're get, we're doing really well. I'm up up to, up to 40,000 now. Um, I don't know. I thought that this echo detector was the part of the quest. But it looks like it's not. So I, I think I'm just going to sell it. I'm a little bit... I really am concerned that that is part of a quest or something. Um, we'll have... Let me have a quick look. Scout area... Deliver locked case to skin flint. Uh, it might be the thing that I'm currently carrying. Recover the tracking device. Stop the mutant with the tracking device. Did I take a mission in a dead city? Meet with Hog. Um, okay. What is this? Recover the detector, right? Okay. I think I'm good to sell that echo detector. I mean, it's just a normal echo detector, right? So there shouldn't, shouldn't be any point in keeping it. Um, so yeah, I am interested, uh, I think we're, we're getting closer to potentially, like, being able to transmutate, um, I don't know why this anomalous scanner, like, I, I've, been, I've been carrying the scanner, and I'm pretty sure I failed that quest, unfortunately. Disable the brain scorcher, stash, all the way up there near freaking Chernobyl, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm good to, like, either sell or drop that anomaly detecting device, because I think I failed the mission. I don't know why I failed the mission. Maybe the guy died. That's the best theory I think I've got. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can sell this thing, so I may as well just drop it somewhere. There you go. Hey, dude. Free detector for you. You're welcome. All right, um, I think this might be the stash I have to deliver for skin flint. This is probably more like it. Better, better be worth it. Okay, yeah, this is probably the case. I can, I think I'm still okay to open this thing. I'll have to get some lockpicks for it. So what are these? Do I have to, like, drop them into something? Uh, throughout all the scientific annotations, you find a series of patterns that can potentially bring artifacts to their maximum capabilities and suffer transmutation when in contact with other materials through the exposure of high-density fire particles. Chemical recipe. I am not sure how to use these. It doesn't... Like, you can't just, like, read them. Can I, like, drop them into my PDA? Can I drop them into my... Oh! Recipe installed successfully. Okay, so you just drop them into your uh, detector. And that seems to do the trick. I think that they are actually installing onto the transmutation module and not the detector itself. And that's a good thing because that means I can, like, remove the detector. Yeah, all the recipes are on the, on the transmutation module. Perfect. Because that means if I am a, in a position where I can upgrade the detector, because this is not the best detector you can get. It's almost the best detector, but not quite then um yeah we can we could uh conceivably upgrade it to the next one without losing our recipes so um not sure still what is next you know i i don't know like we have some recipes okay cool um now what you know 
uh, there's no companions around, right? Like, I, I don't know what to do with the detectors still. But, uh, you know, we're getting closer. We're, we're kind of... Uh, I, I am slowly figuring things out. So, with all, all of that done, um, I think I'm going to end the episode. I got a bunch of dog meat I can't cook, unfortunately. Oh, I think I'm out of fuel. Um, I'm going to end the episode. So, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.